YouTube, this is Sonic Gek here, and welcome back to another Love to Deed tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to get started on making a very, very, very simple game where you are a rectangle and you go about and you collect wee uh, squares. Uh, I'm working on a game similar to this, like um, on my own, but this is going to be a very basic version, and we're going to use all that we have learned so far and some new things. Well, actually, no, it should be all that we have learned so far that goes into making this. So, how is this going to work? Well, we're going to be a rectangle, right? We're going to be this little rectangle, and we go about, and uh, we collect circles. Well, actually, no, we collect other squares, because circles would be too hard. Square and circle collision would be way, way, way too... Well, not way, way, way too hard. We probably have to use Hard on Collider or Bump That Lure, which is a user-created library, which I'll get on to in a wee second. So, yeah. We're going to need it so you can control the player with the was keys and the arrow keys. Um, we may add enemies, but in this tutorial we're probably just going to focus on getting the rectangle on the screen and maybe getting him to move about. Actually, I think we'll just get him on the screen in this tutorial. But, what was I saying already about user created libraries? Well, with Love2D, the community is awesome, like, awesome, like... Almost everybody in the community, notice how I said almost everybody, but like almost every single person in the community is awesome. Uh, they, they never really mean any harm. They just be a little bit silly at times, but they, they never mean any harm. And they're, they're always trying to do good, which is the main thing. Uh, it's the thought that counts. Uh, and I am actually in the Love to Do forums. I am under the username Eamon. I have a blue background that says Obey. But, uh,. Yeah, um, the Love 2D thing, uh, Love 2D, Love 2D, door over. What the heck is that noise? Can I get hear a car door open, but I don't. Oh, I think I know what it is, uh, derp. So, uh, what you want to do is you want to go onto the wiki, and then go into libraries, and this will bring up all the user-created libraries, because the community is so awesome, that they decided to create libraries. This one we will be using to display tail maps to make a platformer in the future. GUI, GUI system, uh, GUI, hub, uh, I know we will definitely be using that. That is for our animations. Is that? Why do I keep thinking I hear car noises when I don't? I'm going insane. <laughs> uh, love frames, that is my favourite GUI. Love to love update, love UI, love a love a star, love three D. Don't get excited. Uh, yeah. So you can have a look here if you want through all of these. Um, that lure and Zoltrop. Uh, mm, that's for love one seven two. So yeah, it it tells you here what version of love it's for. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Back here, we will be uh, making our game. So, what do we need to do? Well, we don't need to do this, but I want to create a player file. Do it as player .look. And then we can put all our player stuff in here. Now, we're going to be using meta tables. I, I hope you remember them. Player equals an empty table. Function player load. I don't think you have to do this, but I like to do it this way. There's several ways you can do it. You can return it in this load, f or no, not load, new. This command is a new player instance. Uh, I think if you remember, I returned it in this function so that we can make the player instance a new version of this function. But what you can do is, whenever you require the file, like include it in, here, in your main.loop, you can return it at the bottom of the file so that the player is equal to the uh, instance of that file. Which I don't really like doing because I've never done it. But uh, O equals, you don't have to call it O, but I'm just going to call it O because I always call it O. Uh, voice crack. X equals 16, I don't know, sorry. Y equals 30, width equals 20, height equals 20, uh, yeah, 
function player update date function player draw and now you might be a little confused uh you, like this should make sense hold on hold on set meta index player uh, this might confuse you. Wow, I keep forgetting stuff. Uh, return. Oh. So, this might confuse you. You might be thinking, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Hold your horses. How the heck does this work? You're passing in DT. I didn't know if a function was just called update. We can pass it the DT argument, even if it was in Love CD. Well, we can't. We are going to be calling this function in the uh, love.update function, and then we are going to pass the DT argument from here into here uh, this can be called whatever you, you can actually call this delta 10 I think yeah you can call it whatever you want but in whatever you're calling it you have to pass in uh, DT but it's better to just call it DT because it's convention and what we want to do here is we want to check for something new you're going to say if love that keyboard is done uh, in fact, will we want this? Yeah, we will, we will, we will. Uh, O.x equals O.x plus. Oh, speed, we're gonna find speed. Plus O.speed times dt. And if loves that. This. I'm, I'm assuming that you are competent enough to work out what this will do. This basically checks if. A key on the keyboard is done, and we're checking for the A key. We're checking if the A key is done. Yeah, we're checking if the A key is done. And if it is, then we're going to... This should be take away. We're going to move the player left, because... Oh! No. What am I on? What? what? I'm like... I'm crazy. <laughs> you should move it right because it's on the right side. If you've ever used wild keys in a game, you should understand this. Now, if you want to check for arrow keys, you type uh, left for the left arrow key, up for the up arrow key, down for the down arrow key, and right for the right arrow key. Uh, actually, I'll do this. Or, how does that keyboard is done? Uh, left or right. If love. I'll just copy this because I'm lazy. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, D left then what that X equals what that X take away all that speed times DT if then we're gonna check for W or up and o dot y equals dot y take away o dot speed times dt. You should understand this as well. Uh, if we're going up, we're going to take away because don't forget the y axis is the other way around from what it normally is. Uh, you, basically, it's 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 understandable if you think about it. If oh, I was going, I was going to take that out. Uh, S or down then. O dot y dot y plus o dot speed times dt. So this basically checks all our is checks uh, for uh, our keys being pressed, and if it is, then we're going to update the x position and the y position depending on what keys we press. This is all well and good, but we need to actually draw the player. So we're going to type love graphics rectangle. Uh, we want it to be a full rectangle. We want it to be X and Y. We want it to be the width and the height of the player. Uh, yeah. Here we should call... Or no, we need to require player. Now, I believe I taught this in my loot. So, basically what this does, this requires the player file. So that you can uh, use it. This basically uh, lets the main that file know that there is a player.lua file and um, so that we can access it. Now, 
as long as it's a lure fair, we don't need to type require player dot lure because then I'll look for player dot lure dot lure because I don't really have the dot lure extension. Whenever you require something, then the new version of lure, and I think it's in love as well. But I'm talking too fast. Whew. What we need to do is here. We need to create a new uh, uh, instance of the player class. So I'm gonna call P P or no P update DT P draw see any errors player dot player eleven I find someone near colon oh no idea what that's there. That argument's rectangle. Uh, number of effect that got nil. Oh. 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 Oh, it's inverted. Um, hmm, how is this inverted? So maybe take away add add. You probably know why that did that, and you were like, "Oh, you're such a derp." So now it's moving left, moving right, but that's inverted. And so this is just a take away and add, I believe. Yeah. I'm like, I'm a derp. Yeah, so. Yeah, uh. Um. Yeah, but notice you can move off the screen. Yeah, so this is our player moving. This is all for this tutorial. We got the player on the screen and we can get him to move. Uh, and he's a white rectangle. In the next tutorial, uh, we're gonna stop him from moving out of the screen. We might change his colour a little bit. So, yeah, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in the next tutorial.